What's going on guys, welcome to Rob's house. We're actually going to be performing a service bulletin on the Corvette today to try to fix a valve rattling issue that has been driving me absolutely insane. When my valves are closed, I'm getting an insanely loud rattling noise that I've determined is coming from the passenger side of the vehicle, the outermost exhaust tip, which actually houses the valve on that side. And I couldn't for the life of me figure out why it's doing it. The valve's not bent and I was searching around online and I actually found a GM service bulletin that I will link to in the description that says that the actuator on the passenger side of some Corvettes and Camaros sometimes begins to rattle and the fix for it is to basically cut off part of the actuator. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna do that today. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if I'm even gonna upload this video because if it doesn't work, then this was all for naught and it won't make a particularly interesting video. But I'm gonna give you guys a startup real quick and show you the noise that I'm talking about and then we'll get the car up in the air, take the rear fascia off and we'll get to work. All right guys, let's get the inside of the garage cold start. This is gonna be extremely loud. Now let me show you guys what I'm talking about with respect to the valves. If I throw my car into stealth mode, all right. Of course, since I'm using the camera, it's not gonna do it now. Let's rev it and see if it does it. Let's see. Not doing it. I guess I'll let it warm up a little bit and see if it starts to do it after the exhaust is warm, but right now it's not rattling at all, and I don't know why. All right, it looks like it just wasn't doing it while it's cold. It's doing it now. You can hear back here. All right guys, so after the car got warm, the uh, valve actuator began to rattle. Now I think it's the actuator. I, sh I was just shining a light in there. My eyes might be a little red from taking exhaust gases to the face, but I was shining the light in there, making sure that the valve was closing up uh, like it's supposed to, and it looks like it's totally sealed in there. I think that when that happens, when the valve actually closes, it, it forces all the exhaust gas, instead of coming straight out through the outer tip to go into the inner tip, I think that additional pressure and heat in there is what causes the actuator to rattle. Now it is worth noting that this is coming from the passenger side of my vehicle and the service bulletin specifically states that this happens at the passenger side of the vehicle when it does happen. So I think the actuator is the problem here. I won't know for sure until we actually complete this service bulletin whether or not it fixes my issue, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot today. So let's get the quick jacks under the car, get it up in the air and start taking that bumper apart. Now the part that will never get old. This thing just makes life so much easier. Up we go. Uh, now, I've already showed this to you guys before in some previous videos, so I'm not gonna go over it again today, but now we just need to remove the uh, lower fascia so there's a bunch of bolts underneath and behind the tag, behind the reflectors, all that stuff. I'm just gonna take that off, get the uh, balance off, and then I'll show you how you actually remove the actuator from the exhaust system, and then we can actually perform the service bulletin. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, rear fascia's off, and uh, so, you know, I mean, it's just a series of bolts along here and along the bottom. I've showed you guys that before. Uh, and now we got to remove this guy. So this is our actual uh, valve actuator. 
There are only three bolts on it. They're seven millimeters. I'll have to use an open wrench to get to this one, but that's okay. Well, without pulling the exhaust off, we're just gonna pull this lock tab out and undo our valve connector here. And then we're going to just remove that actuator. Uh, then I'll show you what we actually have to do to perform this service bulletin. All right guys, so here is our valve actuator uh, off the car. And as you can see, we have the, this is the actual actuator assembly. You wanna make sure you do not break this Torx screw loose because it will, first of all, it's Loctited, and second of all, it will throw off the centering of this piece and you'll have to do a valve relearn. So what we're supposed to do is just cut these feet, these top feet off with like a Dremel or something. So I'm gonna do that now, but basically we're just gonna cut it off so that it's rounded because these are the two things that actually apparently rattle. All right guys, so that piece was pretty easy to cut through. I just used my Dremel with a metal attachment. It sliced through it, no problem. Uh, obviously safety goggles, gloves, right? A lot of sparks. Uh, so kind of be careful when you're doing it. But uh, here we go. This is sort of what it looks like at the end. I try to kind of smooth it out a little bit as best I could. But the main thing I guess is you really only need one set of these of these legs to actually grab onto the uh, valve mechanism in the car and turn it. And I guess this top one for some, I don't know why it rattles, but anyway, they issued a service bulletin about it for all the years of the C7 Corvette and uh, actually for some of the Camaros too, because I guess they use the same assembly on them. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna put it back, put it back on here. We'll start the ca car up and uh, see if it keeps rattling or not. Let's see if that did anything. cycle my valves. I don't hear any more rattle. Before it was you just heard like a constant like pinging noise. And I'm not hearing that now. Let's get inside the car and... Yeah, I don't hear it at all. If you're in the car with the windows shut, like windows up like I am right now, you would hear this like pinging, rattling noise. I don't hear it. I don't hear it. Well guys, I think it worked. The car was still uh, relatively up to temperature uh, before I basically just let it get above, get the coolant temperature above 100 degrees, uh, which is not even anywhere close to the operating temperature. Op operating temperature is around 200. And I immediately started hearing the rattle. And now it was still at about 120 degrees. Uh, the exhaust is definitely still warm. I left it on for a minute or two to see, uh, just kind of let the exhaust kind of heat up. I had, um, Ignore all this white stuff. I had sprayed WD-40 in here in case uh, I was, it'll, it'll burn off, but I was trying to clean the inside. I was, I was worried that there was like a, a rock or a small piece of debris or something in the actual hinge of the valve that was causing the rattle. So I had like soaked it in WD-40, um, but it was still rattling. So that's when I started Googling around, determined that it was probably the actuator. I retorqued all my exhaust clamps, but all of them were still tight. Uh, so that wasn't an issue. I really think the only issue that we had here uh, was that actuator. So I am just gonna call it a day and call it a success. I mean, short video, like I said, but if you have a Corvette or a Camaro and you have a rattling sound coming from your car when your exhaust valves are shut, if you have the NPP exhaust system, the valved, uh, the valved exhaust system, if you're hearing a rattle with them shut, this is probably the cause. Now in my case, I have Corsa's mufflers, but I have the variable sound Corsa system, so doesn't matter. It's the same thing as the factory 
uh, variable sound system in the sense that the problem is actually in the actuator, which you reuse from the factory system with the Corsa system. So whether you have a Corsa variable sound system or whether you have GM's original variable sound system, uh, this service bulletin still applies because they are the same exhaust actuator, assuming that nothing is wrong with the valves themselves inside of your exhaust system. So anyway, as I said, I'm calling this one a success. We'll keep this video short and sweet as usual. I hope this video was helpful and entertaining and I'll see you guys next time.